yesterday. I spent the day on uh, a little trucky and got my ass handed to me. And that video will not be making the light of day because it was really crappy. So today I'm on the trucky. And this water looks like stuff I know how to fish, so my confidence is boosting. Got a dink. Well, there we go. Caught a little baby rainbow trout. Sweet. These fish know what's up. Okay. Decent fish. Sick. Solid thirteen entry. So little guys. Beautiful. Got that one on the waltz. Or new dark or black waltz. Normally I tie that in a tan or like a cream color or like gray. This one's black.
Is it? Yeah. Wow. Never seen one in person. Well done. Ma, can you take that? Sweet, it's a fat fish. Maybe there's pliers on you? Yeah. Here they roll a lot. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Yep. They look pretty. Cool. Strong too. Yeah. Good job. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. The amount of support and encouragement I've been getting has really helped keep the motivation going, so I really appreciate it. So this trip has been a really fun one for me because I got to venture out a bit farther from home because I took the wife to the airport early one morning and I figured I'd better make the best of it and head up into the Sierras. On day one, I went up to the Little Truckee and I never got a fish back to the net, sadly. Early in the day, I had a fish on that came right off and that contact did get my hopes up, but it slowly became clear it was going to be a pure struggle fest kind of day. I threw everything I had at them. I nymphed, I tightlined, I even tossed some drives to them. I was totally out of my element. Most of the water in this creek is just shin deep and there were fishermen everywhere. I have never seen more anglers on a tiny trickle of water in my life. Fighting a really bad attitude, I finished that day defeated and I vowed to never return. And the video was scrapped. Day two, I met up with subscriber Dominic who has experience fishing the big truckee around town and he wanted to check out some new spots so we met up and fished water I was more comfortable with. It was flowing 650 CFS through a deep rocky canyon so we were fishing slack water next to seams and looking for pockets near the bank. It was just way too big to get out off the bank but there was still lots of fishable water and I got three fish back to the net. Later we moved upstream to a spot nicknamed the U. Uh, the flows here were softer and the banks shallower. This water had a few runs and pools, but was mostly riffle water. I had really fun fishing this section, despite the skunk, because it kind of is what I pictured fishing the truckee would look like. It was just so beautiful. Uh, luckily, Dominic was able to land a 20-inch rainbow and his personal best whitey, a fish I'd never actually seen in person before. So they definitely loved to roll in the net and destroy rigs, as I had heard. So let's talk again about the LT. After getting home, resting up, and talking with my friend and YouTuber Troutflies, I will definitely be going back. Troutflies learned to fish in these trips before moving to Utah, and he encouraged me to go back there, you know, reminding me that it's super rewarding once you learn how to fish them. So, nothing like a humbling couple of days to assess your progress learning how to fly fish, eh? Something tells me it's a lifelong learning pursuit. So again, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about my fishing equipment or my video gear, I have links down to everything in the description. And if you'd like to follow along with me in real time, look me up on Instagram. I post up pictures, video clips, and fun stuff to my story so you don't have to wait for me to get these stupid videos edited. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. I try to post a new video every single week. In the next one, I head down to the McLeod again to give Crystal her first taste of that aquamarine water. Until then, everybody, Godspeed. Man, it's gonna fall on now.